Hey guys, welcome to our channel. So, we've been decoding the Big Lebowski rug to carpet switch. Um, he, uh, he used to say he thinks the rug pissers did this because it was a rug throughout the movie. And he now says he thinks the carpet pissers did this. Of course, right after it was referred to as a rug. Um, so... Excuse my computer here, it's telling me things. Um, so, we took the rug to carpet, we crossed off the R's and got a U-G-C-A-P-E-T, and we brought that down, and so far we've got it to go forwards and backwards in the stock market, in genetics, um, in chemicals, albeit a short list of chemicals, um, and we added um, a category to this one because the suspected potential quantum computer user in this or some other reality uh, researches technology. They do not directly research chemicals, and they were not in the chemical search. Um, but these, a lot of these chemicals, uh, what they went back to uh, water treatment and technologies, and the other uh, chemicals in there went back to pharmaceutical, which ties right into genetics. So it was kind of a selected, targeted group of chemicals there. And then we went through technologies, and of course we found, uh, and this is a CGU Claremont Graduate University uh, research centers. And the university itself has other departments, uh, like the technologies department. All right. And we found all that. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, there they were circled again in technology. And maybe that should be a search that we run, even if it doesn't run forwards and backwards all the time. Maybe we should run technology uh, category and see what technologies they're at they're looking at um but now we took it uh and we went random just completely randomly searched these letters and uh gca ended up being giant cell temporal art arteritis which which is a uh, medical condition a genetic medical condition if i'm not mistaken and i'll provide the link um which is interesting um, UGC ends up being University Grants Committee, and uh, I don't know if that's relevant or not, but these this uh, CGU Research Centers uh, study researches the stock market pretty heavily, right, and money, finance. So it wouldn't be out of the question to research or calculate off of a university's grants commission. And uh, UGC also, and that's why I put it down, by the way, because it might be relevant. Um, UGC also ends up being UG Chain on, uh, I found it on Coin Market Cap, but they're on a stock, they're a company on a stock market. Um, which is interesting because that didn't come up in my stock market search, and yet here it is in random. And they research the stock market so then um you had apet which ends up being association for public economic theory oh association for public economic theory now it's at a university it's at uh let's see if we can find it here quickly or not but it's, um, yeah, yeah, I forget what university, and it's not bringing it up for me right at the moment. But, uh, yeah, um, the important thing to take from that is Association for Public Economic Theory. Oh, the University of Adelaide. So, yeah, um, that's something that got hit. Um, and, uh... Then uh, we took, uh, oh, I went ahead and uh, I googled U-G-C-A-P-E-T. Huh. Guys, I googled the whole thing. 
All right. And what I came up with, this was interesting. When I Googled the whole thing randomly, forwards, it didn't work backwards so well. Uh, something did come up, but it didn't seem all that relevant or even readable. It was in another uh, language, and even once translated, it was kind of confusing. Um, but let me see. You came up with Garden City and a newspaper archive, and when I clicked into this newspaper archive, the very, very first thing I clicked into was, uh, it, it's a newspaper archive, Garden City Telegram, stocks, New York Stock Exchange, market summary, NASDAQ, national market. So the very first thing that hits, and I'll provide this link, guys, is a newspaper archive with stocks. So, um, yeah, you got that going on. And again, I mean, these things could be argued as coincidences, but they keep piling up. And after you have so many coincidences, I don't know, that's too many coincidences, right? <clears throat> these guys study the stock market and this whole thing together is a newspaper archive of stocks. <laughs> sure. Um, but I'm not calling them the quantum computer guy. I really want to. Uh, everything points to them, but we got to run the numbers and see what the numbers do. We're almost ready to call this. So, um, Association for Public Economic Theory, and then uh, the newspaper archive with the stocks, and that takes you through forwards. All right, now we're coming back, and I started with TEPA, and TEPA uh, -E um, is TEPA Companies. And I wrote read down. So we're going to read because there was obviously, obviously there was a reason that I said to read about this company. Ah, constru uh, T TEPA companies, construction, environmental, technology, fueling system services, delivering comprehensive, sustainable solutions. Now, here's where it's interesting. The TEPA companies are a tribally owned small business, which almost made me walk away right there until I kept reading, that offer full service capabilities in construction, environmental consulting, technology, and fueling system services owned by the Pascenta Band of Nome Lake Indians. The TEPA companies deliver sustainable solutions to governmental and commercial clients across the country. Oh, so it is a small company. But apparently you can be a small company and deliver sustainable solutions to governmental and commercial clients across the country anyway. And we've had small companies before. I'm not trying to say that you know, small companies are irrelevant, but when I first saw it and, it and it said a small privately owned tribal company, um, I, I immediately thought it was a regional thing somewhere like they delivered right here. Like, you know, I used to live up by, like say South Dakota. Um, but no, these guys, uh, are across the country. So, and, and to the government too. So I found that interesting. And so it's in there. Um, then you have TEP, which, it, which ends up being Tallgrass Energy Partners, LP, on the New York Stock Exchange. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't think that ever came up. No, it didn't come up. Um, and then, uh, of course, um, yeah, CGU ends up being Claremont uh, Graduate University, and that is where the research centers are, and that is where that uh, technology department is, systems and technology, the Department of Systems and Technology, or Center for Systems and Technology. It's a different department in the same place, and uh, while, while we're at it, guys, since this didn't it just because I didn't do this. Let me 
I'm just real quick. PAC, yeah, um, right here. Uh, PAC ends up being uh, as a uh, uh, significant thing come up right away. Petroleum analyzers for lab and process. So that's a PAC is petroleum analyzers for lab and process. So I can write that later. I, it was one of the one of those things I kind of forgot. I kind of neglected after I look I got to looking at the rest of it. But uh, that's it. Uh, Hey, that gets you through going forwards and backwards and random hits. And I had actually started to, uh, I did a, uh, I did a uh, translation look real quick. And the very first thing I found was good luck. So <laughs> take that for what it is. If that was the first thing I found um, as a translation was good luck. <sighs> I could take that in a lot of ways now, couldn't <laughs> Good luck. But it's probably some sort of a message uh, to somebody, uh, probably at this research center or this university, but I can't. We'll see what the numbers pull up. Um, we'll see what the translations pull out. And uh, we'll see how the numbers run against uh CG uh, Claremont Graduate University Research Center and their Center for Systems and Tech. And uh, yeah, and I, I, I would love to say that right now I could tell you that one with, you know, probably the same 97, 98% certainty I'm calling these other I'm tentatively calling these other quantum computer users, either in this reality or another, with, I would love to call it right now because the, the, by the time I finally decide to call it, no one's going to be interested anymore, right? Because they'll already know. Um, but I just hesitate to call stuff too early because stuff surprises me all the time. So I'm looking really hard at these guys. Um, this Claremont Graduate University, their research center, where they study a lot. They study the stock market again. Um, they study uh, genetics. They study technology. Um, and once again, you have the whole code, the whole thing, the whole change without the R's by itself ends up being a new newspaper archive with stocks. So that's where that's right where it took me. As soon as I clicked on the newspaper archive, I went to that stocks page. <laughs> so uh, anyway, um, you see, you know what I'm saying. And again, this could all be argued as a big old coincidence. I think I am the true Highlander said that you could find codes in anything yesterday. And, um, he may be arguing it as a coincidence. Well, you can argue that, but you can't argue that the pattern's not there because it most certainly is. Um, it can be argued as a coincidental pattern, but as the coincidences keep piling up, that's a harder argument to make because these things all tie together what a quantum entanglement, right? <laughs> I think uh, Kirk J mentioned quantum entanglement. And, and by the way, if you happen to watch this, um, it was weird because I was told there was a, another comment, a 10th comment up. And when I went to look, there wasn't. Like I figured maybe you responded to my question. And then uh, when I went back out, it was back to nine. So I don't know if uh, it got, the, the comment got taken down or where, if there was no comment there to begin with. But, uh, yeah, I'm not showing any comment, um, even though I got shown there was a comment. So, and I went to, of course, held for review, and there's nothing held for review either. So, I'm just throwing that out there, um, just in case. And I think I covered everything for this one. So, that's going to be it, guys. Uh, thanks. Sorry, I ran it a little long. Thanks for all your thumbs up, thumbs down. Thanks for all your comments, leads, feedback, subscriptions. 
And uh, by the way, some of these uh, videos are now taking a very, very, very long time to load. Um, I think one of the last two that I did took over, took well in excess of 12 hours to upload a seven uh, or eight minute video. So, um, and the internet was working fine too. Like I was able to go and basically prepare my next, but I had to stop because I didn't want to open more windows. But uh, yeah, I was able to do whatever I wanted. And uh, for some reason, the upload just took forever. So, so, and this is a longer video, so it might do that to me again. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And uh, thanks for all your feedback, letting us know what you think. Um, it's interesting to see other viewpoints. And, uh, yeah, um, you guys think it's a coincidence? I know some people do. Um, we already took a poll once, and the majority of people don't think it's a coincidence. And the more that piles up, the more I'm leaning, the more I say no, there's no way. I say no way. Well, it's still possible. Probable? I don't think so. I mean, that's a lot, a lot. And at some point, a coincidence can't be a coincidence anymore because it's just too much of a coincidence. And there's too many, just too many. Um, I know I'm going off on a rant here a little bit, but... Um, I mean, these things are coming out of uh, songs. I'm not even, it's not even a rant. I'm just uh, stating a point uh, that I tried to state, that I try to state um, in, in comments. But these, the, these are changes coming directly out of Mandela Effective Material. And a lot of them are nonsensical. And once you remove the, uh, like letters they mostly all become nonsensical and the fact you find so much uh, related stuff in a pattern over and over it there, there becomes a point where and then and then when you then you break the numbers down and then the numbers do it like, <laughs> like a lot of coincidence guys a lot of coincidence and, and it can still be argued that for sure. So, um, and if it ends up, if, if somebody, if it ends up being proven that it is a coincidence, then I'll retract everything I've said. And so would my fiance, if it got proven, um, that we were wrong, we would say that we were wrong for sure. So, um, that's going to be it for now, guys. Uh, sorry again for running it long and, uh, thanks a lot for watching those of you who do. And for now, um, you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will do the rest of this decode and see if we can call our quantum com potential quantum computer user, either in this reality or another, and or quantum network user, quantum communicating now, which, you know, two will it read eyes only. I, th I always thought that was a message sent directly to a, s a certain person that would probably come up as something they could read on the screen and something I have to go to great lengths to get bits of information out of uh, just because of a minor change. So um, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, for now, you guys have a great rest of your day.